Hi, it's Richie, Abe and Jake. Before we get started with this episode, we wanted to give a quick shout out to Mike Reese, who built the Sonic Silhouette Glider. Looks really good. Nice Great work. Great job. Like it. It's one of our favorites. Yeah. So send us your pictures and videos and we'll highlight you. Now on with this episode. It's Richie in the Sonic Dad Studios, here to bring you another preview of the next project. And with me today, I have a very special guest, Grant Thompson. How you guys doing? Grant Thompson here from thekingofrandom.com. I've got a YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be here with you today, Richie. Thank you. Because we have teamed up to bring you something special. And I can't wait to talk about it. It is very cool. So, this was an actual design collaboration. It's not unusual for YouTubers to kind of collaborate on videos. And I think this is really cool because it was an actual collaboration of the design of the project. That's right. Last year I made a video on how to make rocket motors using sugar and stump remover and I challenged Richie to see if he can come up with a design to work with those motors and I think we've done it. Yeah. Yeah, we actually spent several hours working on concepts and several test flights. So let's bring out the finished prototype. All right, you guys ready for this? We are introducing the randomizer. The T-Core 2000 randomizer. So this, uh, one of the things we talked about early on was we wanted a rocket that performed really well but would also run on SD's motors. And this rocket will run on either a D class or an E class. And uh, of course, we wanted something that would perform really well and I think we've got it. I really like how it turned out. That's right. What's really cool about this design is not only will it work with the sugar rocket motors, it works with the Estes motors as well. And I've tweaked my design a little bit so that it will screw into position, yeah. which is one of the challenges that we yeah. address here. So we actually gave this rocket a screw motor mount, which is completely unconventional. We've never seen it done before. Yeah, never I, seen anything like it before. I have not. In fact, I, I started out um, coming up with a a kind of a traditional motor mount where it slides into a tube and has a retainer and it was actually your idea to go away from this this was kind of complicated and heavy well, what i'm thinking is i want you to be able to go down to home depot buy a little coupling and screw your rocket motor right into it just keep it really simple and, yeah. and i think this is super cool motor mount but how do we get something simpler well it's definitely simpler about as simple as it gets it's a lot lighter so this is just a section of the coupling cut off um, the whole coupling weighs about 25 grams and, and just this little bit is about 5 grams. And so Grant figured out that you could actually just thread a normal Estes motor right into that tapered 3 quarter inch thread, which is really and cool. And that couldn't be a more perfect fit. Yeah. I don't know if you can uh, see right into there, but that is airtight. And these have been field tested. Yes, we got a lot of launches on this. So what you would do is just thread your motor in the back like that. So. It holds it secure during the thrust portion of the flight and also the parachute ejection. So how about, let's talk about what this rocket's actually made out of. And this is what blows my mind. These are all common materials. A lot of them you can find at the dollar store. And if you were to make five of these rockets, I think they price out to about two or three dollars a piece yeah. when you prorate them. Plus, you know, of course you gotta buy your adhesive and stuff like that. But there's the nose cone. And, and I bought uh, two of those from Dollar Tree for a dollar. Right, so the, the yellow piece you see up here that looks like a really professional nose cone that you buy from a hobby store, uh, nothing more than a champagne yep. glass from a dollar store. And cut the end off, do a little bit of body work there. So that is very cool. And it's got a very, very nice tight fit up here. So what is holding that uh, parachute on? Yeah, so the nose cone mount is actually a pill bottle. And, you what, can, and what kind of pills are these? Where well, you, you can buy you ibuprofen or actually this you can buy for 88 cents at Walmart at gas relief tablets. Gas relief <laughs> tablets for 88 cents. So I bought like eight of these, went to the cashier, and I think she thought I had some serious issues. Right, I can imagine the looks on their face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Company policy not to say anything rude. Right. All right, and then we've got a nice little uh, elastic cord. Yes. And that is just a typical elastic cord you buy in the fabric area of Walmart or a fabric shop. So. Which pulls out our parachute. Now, the reason that we have the elastic cord on there is because this, this flies out at pretty high velocity. Yes, it does. We got a black powder charge in those motors that blasts the parachute out, and uh, we don't want the material ripping. Yep. 
but when it gets out there and it starts flailing around, we get this nice little parachute that opens up, which actually does a very great job. I chased this yeah. rocket for about two and a half blocks, yeah, trying to recover it. You know, uh, it got picked up with the wind, but it did a great job and came down undamaged. This beautiful parachute made out of? That's a dollar store tablecloth. You can also get them at super centers for a dollar. This is actually the parachute from project number 62, the action figure parachute. And it's kind of a unique design. It's got a vent in each corner. And because it's gathered, you only need four shroud lines. That makes it pretty simple. Keeps the uh, weight down a little bit as well. Yeah, pretty light. Uh, eight grams, I think, I weighed. And it's perfect size for this rocket. Yeah, and bringing the rockets down, it was very, very stable. Yeah. And great job. I almost caught one of the rockets coming yeah. back to us. Actually. Yeah. Off by an inch. And the, yeah. other, the other thing I love about this is just how easy it is to roll up. No fancy uh, packing techniques. No, Basically, really. just grab it like this, roll it right up, wrap the strings around it, it's ready to go. Yep. Stuff so. it in there. Okay, so working down the rocket, the next thing we have here is the tube. And uh, this is a section I cut from a golf club. I guess it's a golf bag insert, and I'm not a golfer. And that's to protect the golf clubs yeah, in I the Yeah, I guess bags, that's what right? it's for. But At Walmart again? Yeah, about a buck and a half. So only need 20 inches. They come about 40 inches long. Um, what you see on here is a fin template, and this comes in the instructions and gives you the position of the fins. So that's the body tube. And then uh, a little bit further down here, we've got the fins. Those are made out of black coroplast, and coroplast is just a, a sign material, and you can get black coroplast at uh, any sign shop, and usually they're pretty good about just giving you scraps, so it may cost nothing. If you've got a silver tongue, you might be able to negotiate a free deal, otherwise yeah. <laughs> maybe out $5 for a, a nice big yeah, black sheet of... Yeah, $5 will get you like a 20 by 40, and you can build several rockets out of that. Let's see, uh, launch lugs are just a section of a disposable pen tube, and you use the same technique on one of your rockets. These fins are just glued on with hot glue, and very strong, actually. Yeah, very we, stable. We, we never, never had, had any issues. problems yeah. with the fins and hot glue. So because of the heat of the motor and the ejection charge, we've got a section of cardboard tube uh, right under where the fins are mounted. But not just any cardboard tube. Where do you, yeah. where do you get this, this one from? This came from Dollar Store plastic wrap. Plastic wrap, yeah. right. So Saran wrap. After you've got all your use out of the Saran wrap, you can reuse the, yeah. the garbage as well for your That's right. homemade rocket. Or maybe you can just roll it onto a paper towel roll or something. Right. But, well, we did uh, several launches, like we talked about. And the last one is one, you got a little calisthenics out of that. <laughs> That's we, right. We launched Best it workout with, uh, I've had in months. Yeah, we launched it with an E in E-Class in E96. We didn't have a way to measure it, but I would say it would be a good guess to say maybe around 1,500 feet high. It definitely went over 1,000. Yeah, definitely over 1,000. And we were in a pretty good sized park. I think we might have misjudged the winds aloft a little bit. All right, what motor are we running on this one, Richie? This is a E96. E96 in four, three, two, one, ignition. Yeah, we might not get that one back. <laughs> wow, yeah. All might right, be I'm hiking for that. The parking lot. <laughs> well, it landed about, I don't know, a quarter mile away. Grant went running after it. Hopefully, we can find it. Yeah, Grant had to chase it down. But we got it back yep. after talking to some of the neighbors. Actually, what, what we launched was this prototype here. The ugly one. We didn't want to launch the good one that day, but anyway, um, along with this project, you will need a launch pad and a launch controller and obviously engines and some wadding, recovery wadding that goes inside to protect the parachute. So this is project number 70, T-Core 2000 randomizer rocket. It's going to be a supersonic expert level, skill level 6 and will take you three or four hours with painting. A little less if you don't paint it. And like we said, it's made out of a champagne glass pill bottle, a golf bag insert, some plastic chloroplast sign material, disposable pen, and some odds and ends like uh, material for the parachute and shock cord, and a PVC fitting for the motor mount. And because this is a special collaboration with Richie's permission, 
you go over to my channel, I'm going to be making a step-by-step -step instructional yep. on how to build this rocket from scratch. So when you have your plans and you have your template, if you want to come over and follow my video, we'll build this together yep. and maybe show some of the That'll the be launches. awesome. Yeah. And you've also got some cool uh, King of Random twist coming with the with your motor. So that'll be really cool. So be watching for that on Grant's channel. So uh, this was a really cool project to collaborate with you on. Uh, I had a lot of fun and I think it turned out really well. Some synergy here. You know, they say the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And I think, in my humble opinion, uh, I think we ended up with a rocket that was probably better than you or I could have done on our own. I think, I think that's exactly the case. I had, and I actually stated in a previous video that I wanted to make a rocket for this spring. This wouldn't have happened without Richie. This exceeds my expectations. I love the color scheme too, the black and yellow. Yeah. It's nature's color scheme for caution, and that's exactly yeah. <laughs> what rocketry is. So. King of random colors. We're not only excited about this ourselves, we're excited to be able to share it with you as well. Yeah. And this, see what you think about it. This is a fun project. It's uh, uh, definitely pushing the needle on the G-Wizzle meter for me pretty hard. So thanks again, Grant, for joining us on this episode. Hey, my pleasure, Richie. And if you don't mind, I'm going to take this back to my workshop and uh, take it home for some tests of you my bet. own. So. Okay. Anyway, great collaborating with you. Thanks. Until next time, I'm Richie with Sonic Dad. And I'm Grant Thompson, the king of random. Thanks again, Grant, for being with me today. It's been my pleasure. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. Hi, it's Richie, Abe, and Jake. Before we get started with this episode, we wanted to give a quick <laughs> shout out to... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what's going on. Give me a minute. Good. Do it. Hi, it's Richie. <coughs> well, I didn't take much. Okay, it's, it's, I've got it all the out of my system. Give me character. Hi, it's... I'm giggling. Okay, let's do it. We are professional. I can do this. Hi, it's Richie, Abe, and Jake. <laughs> and Abe cannot hold it together. Hey, if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to go to our website. Thank you.